Hi, my name is Stuart McFarlane and in this presentation we'll be looking at percentages and how they can be written in their equivalent forms as fractions and as decimal fractions. When talking to the pupils, we should use the term equivalent to highlight that percentages, fractions and decimal fractions are all equivalent and all equal to one another and despite looking different, they are really just different ways of expressing the same value. We should use the phrase out of 100 to highlight that percent simply means per hundred and when we have a percentage value we can write it as a fraction out of 100. Finally, although it's the general convention to just use the word decimal if you're talking about 0 0.7, 0 0.23, 0 0.05 etc, we should try and give its proper name which is a decimal fraction. Now pupils will be aware of some commonly used percentages and their equivalent fraction and decimal fraction values. For example, they could probably tell us that 10% is equal to one tenth, which is equal to 0 0.1 as a decimal fraction, or that 25% is equal to one quarter, which is equal to 0 0.25, so on and so forth. There are a host of others that the pupils will be aware of, and it's good if they know these, it's good if they're, they have these memorised and they can use them for calculations or for mental maths. However, it's equally important that they can convert any percentage into a fraction, into a decimal fraction, that they understand the real link between each of the three forms and the fact that they are equivalent. Now to convert to fractions and decimal fractions, we have to emphasise the fact again that percent means per hundred. This allows us to write any percentage value as a fraction out of a hundred. If we take, for example, 24%, we could write that as 24 per hundred, 24 out of 100. To convert the fraction to the decimal, we use a simple fact that mathematically over means divide. 24 divided by 100 is a straightforward enough process. The digits will stay together, bump down two places smaller, and when we carry out 24 divided by 100, we get our decimal fraction 0 0.24. Now the fraction itself in this case, this is a raw percentage per 100 form. It will simplify. We'll look at simplifying in a couple of minutes. If we just look at another couple of examples using this technique, 9% means 9 per 100. 9 per 100 or 9 over 100 can be considered as 9 divided by 100 to convert to the decimal fraction 0 0.09, moving it down two places smaller. And by the same token, 15% means 15 per 100, which gives us 0 0.15 when we do 15 divided by 100. Now to go back to simplifying, the first fraction here won't simplify, whereas the second one has a common factor of 5 that we could divide the top and the bottom by. If we divide the numerator by 5, we get 3 in the denominator we get 20, which gives us another equivalent fraction for 15%, this time a fully simplified equivalent fraction of 3 twentieths. Now once we've gone over this with the pupils, we can look back at the commonly used ones that they may have known before and explain why 75% is 3 quarters, why is 60% 3 fifths, why is 10% a tenth, or even the most basic of all, why is 50% 1 half. Using our technique, 50% can be written as 50 per 100, 50 divided by 100 gives us 0 0.50 as some people would write, or simply 0 0.5. And then we can think about simplifying the fraction. If we take out a factor of 10, first of all, divide the top by 10 and the bottom by 10, we get 5 tenths. Once we've got 5 tenths, we could divide the top by 5 and the bottom by 5 to give us a more recognisable fraction of 1 half. Now this is a useful exercise as it really highlights and emphasises the relationship and the equivalence between the percentage, the fraction and the decimal fraction. Thank you.